racing. McKenzie fast into stride with All Out Blitz. Shiver Me Timbers splits them and puts his nose in the front city plan and my boy Jack sharing fourth and here is Happy Three Langs off last of all. All Out Blitz through along the inside has taken the lead with seven eighths to go. Shiver Me Timbers relents and will sit second on the outside of my boy Jack, who's racing a little keenly on the back of the leader. McKinsey well positioned fourth at the six furlong marker. He's out in the clear, racing three wide, two and a quarter lengths off the speed. City Plan is next, one off the fence fifth. Six lengths in front of here is Happy, travelling past the five-eighths pole, and it's all out blitzed by one length from Shiver Me Timbers. My boy Jack on the inside, third, attended closely by McKinsey, City Plan. Half a dozen lengths to here is happy along to the half mile pole all out blitz by a length from shiver me timbers my boy jack mckinsey city plan six lengths here is happy reaching the end of the back stretch in the sham and it's all out blitz for tyler bays a one length leader over shiver me timbers mckinsey blinkerless for the first time is being stoked up now he's moving up out three wide he puts his head past shiver me timbers and draws within a neck of the leader back forth my boy jack angling off the fence they come to the quarter pole and it's all out blitz on the inside of McKinsey. Shiver Me Timbers could not go with McKinsey. Just took up a little bit there, but looked to be tiring at the time. My boy Jack running fourth. McKinsey strides clear at the eighth pole. Puts two lengths on all out blitz. Four lengths away. Shiver Me Timbers with my boy Jack. But it's a domineering display by the ultra talented McKinsey as he takes the sham while well in hand. Three and a half lengths to all out blitz. My boy Jack. Shiver Me Timbers. City plan next. Six the winner, McKinsey defeating three, all out blitz. Third is one, my boy Jack. Fourth was five, Shiver Me Timbers. The time, 136.58. The $1 exacta, $7.10. 50 cent trifecta, $12.30. 10 cent superfacta, $3.16. Two dollar double eight sixty. The one dollar pick three fifteen fifty. The consolation pick three with the late scratch in race four of number eight Lady Lemon Drop four dollars. Fifty cent early pick four returning forty one even, and the fifty cent early pick five pays four hundred and fifteen fifty five. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome back the undefeated winner of the Sham Mistakes, McKinsey. A Bay Colt by Street Sense from the Passionville Mayor Runway Model. Bred in Kentucky by Summer Wind Farm. Raced by Pegram, Watson and Whiteman. Bob Baffert is the winning trainer and Mike Smith, the victorious jockey. Ladies and gentlemen, redirecting your attention to the winner's circle as a truly legendary figure in thoroughbred racing joins us to present the Sham Trophy. Won't you please welcome an old-time great, Lafitte Pinkeye Jr. 
who rode sham to victory here in the 1973 Santa Anita Derby. A six-time Eclipse Award winner and a member of racing's Hall of Fame since 1975, Lafitte won a staggering 14 Santa Anita winter meet riding titles. Upon his retirement due to injury, Lafitte stood alone as racing's all-time leading jockey with 9,530 wins. Again, it's with great pride that Santa Anita Park welcomes the one and only Lafitte Pinkeye Jr. Mackenzie, your favorite, takes the sham here, and I'm joined by Mike Smith, who was the pilot. Mike, whose idea was it, first of all, for the blinkers to come off? That, that was Bob's. Um, he thought he was a bit too aggressive last time. Um, he seemed to relax early, then he jumped into the bride a little. He thought if he took the blinkers off today, it's a short field, might as well try him without it, and I, I think it was a great move. When you guys broke out of the gate, he did seem to be a little bit more aggressive, but he seemed to settle down. Is that maturity, or was that really just from the blinkers coming off? He's getting better. He's in you know, maturity. You know, it was only his second time out at Los Al last time out. I thought he ran a tremendous race. I mean, the horses that that he that he ran with that day were very, very, very talented horses. And uh, I thought he'd move forward from that race, and, and he did. And talk a little bit about him coming down the stretch here as he started to pull away with these horses with not as much experience. Sometimes, you know, we see them kind of pulling themselves up or whatnot. This horse seemed to be really on task. Man, I, I, I kind of put that bridle up in his mouth, and I kind of had a pretty good hold of him. And I smooched to him just to keep him into it, and he finished full of run, run underneath the wire uh, well within himself and galloped out really nice. Congratulations. Thank you. Mike Smith for Ryan to victory there. Mackenzie, Bob Baffert, by the way, that is his fifth sham win.